y'all happy monday welcome back to another vlog i'm trying to figure out where i put my wallet i'm about to go head to a workout i'm weightlifting this morning this week is exciting because i'm going to coachella on thursday last minute with ugg which if you know me ugg is my number one dream brand of my entire life like i have worn uggs pretty much every single day since i was like 10 because no kindergarten because I'm either wearing a boot or I'm wearing slippers or I'm wearing whatever like it is my number one brand ever so I'm so excited um oh today I have a closet organizer coming so I'll take you guys through that so obviously like this is organized but like I have other closets that haven't moved in here we have drawers we have all these other stuff so anyways I'm wearing my Casper robe right now this robe is the best I need to do my skincare still I need to leave for a workout like really soon so I'm gonna get dressed one sec my other number one brand they're tied okay Skims, which I've already worked with Skims before. Um, pretty much this entire thing is Skims, besides like a few Aritzia top. Um, and there's like a couple parade, but like most of it is Skims, and this isn't even everything that I have. I think maybe I'll do this. I don't know, I kind of want to wear. I like really have to get going. I want to wear a long sleeve. I'm gonna go in my other closet. Anyways. Um, if y'all are new here, be sure to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this week in my life vlog. It's gonna be a good one. We also have some book conversations. Got a lot going also. I'm just sending this today. My sister left all of her stuff in it. Go figure. My Taylor Swift Eras tour bag, which by the way, it's from like Honey Boutique or something. I, they, I made a TikTok saying where it's from, an uh, Etsy boutique. I thought Tarte made it because Tarte sent them to us. Um, but if you guys want it, it was such a good bag for the Eras tour, especially if you have to wear a clear bag really recommend and I'm gonna mail it to one of y'all who's going to the Aries tour so anyways set is set active hokas which I was walking yesterday and my feet like hurt from walking so I'm like what did I do to these shoes do I need to get new ones like isn't that weird I don't know guys we made it to our workout this is actually the last thing I want to be doing right now are you excited no oh what is that Ooh, I you had some free work out there I might like not fill out my water bottle before so I can like do class just like you know yes. have, like, a yeah, yeah, like no. I need a break you know <laughs> well we made it uh, oh no <laughs> ignore the angle I did get a tripod to have this like look better oh by the way I'm back from, from my workout I'm getting a bunch of stuff done um, my closet organizer is coming at noon now, so I'm trying to get all of this stuff sent in. I finally did morning pages again because I was like, I feel very disconnected from myself. I feel like life is just running by me and I have no control and I just felt like anxious and like great things are happening, but like I don't feel like connected. You know what I mean? And I don't feel like I'm like manifesting or like setting, like, you know, whatever. All that stuff. This morning, I did morning pages for the first time, as you guys saw in probably two months. And there was something like very specific, ACMs wise, that I was like, I really want, and like this isn't my pinnacle goal with the ACMs. Um, and it's been like a huge thing. Like, I really want to go to the ACMs because they're in Dallas and um, Dolly Parton is hosting them. And it's like my dream. Like I want to be hosting like red carpet for like country stuff. Anyway, so any in to the ACMs, I'm there for. And my dream brand, one of them that I would like, like to partner with, just DM'd me about the ACMs. So this stuff works, guys. That is so crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna record the intro and outro and ad for this week's podcast episode, which will be up by the time you guys see this. Um, we have Kat on Cam Artistry. She's like one of my favorite makeup artists in New York and has just like become a friend of all of ours and she's the greatest. We talk a lot about like body image and like trigger warning stuff, you know, but it was a really great episode and product favorites and all that. Um, but yeah. Wow, what a time. All right guys, it is later this evening. My closet organizer just left, Cindy. She's amazing from Glamorize. You guys can just like DM her on Instagram. Um, I'm, I'm posting like reels and TikToks. So if you guys go there, you can get her handle and then DM her. She was unbelievable, so nice. And my closet looks amazing. Like, look at this. Everything is like color coordinated. I can't take all the credit. <laughs> it was amazing. I only a little bit. <laughs> she literally just got here. Everything is so stunning. The amount of the same like skim shirts I have is crazy. Yeah, like, before you ever order anything, I'm gonna have you like take inventory. Mm -hmm. So do I really here's, need it? Here's the thing, like I wear these like every single day. So it's worth it to have so many. You know what I mean? 
just for future. The denim looks unbelievable. My shoes look stunning. Heading over to the dresses over here. Like so cute. I should wear that to Coachella, maybe. Like I have things that I can wear to Coachella, but anyways. Um, this is the dress that Macy wants me to wear. Hodge sent it to me recently. I wanna like, that's insane. What? I'm obsessed with that. Oh, isn't it cute? But I haven't had anywhere to wear it yet, so anyways. Then I have like random like summer outerwear, whatever, night out top skirts. I guess those are shorts too. Um, that's actually a sample for the kind that we didn't move forward with. Bags over here, and then I have my night out dresses, and then I have my casual daytime dresses, and then in here, we have just like some puffers, outerwear. I have more outerwear in another closet. She only had five hours, so we had, we got like everything done that we could. Or she got everything done that she could, but all these sweaters and stuff, also color coordinated all the way back there. Stunning. And then wait until you see my loungewear closet. Um, I've been wearing my hair natural more. Let me know if you guys like it or if you have any curly hair products. I'll check back in the comments to see. But Kenzie's about to show the outerwear closet and it is, like she showed me this closet, which is like insane. And I was like, oh, cool. And then she showed me that one, and I was like, yeah, public enemy number one. Okay, coming in here, sorry for Coco, there's only so much I can do. She has her like wild hour in it right now. Uggs, obviously, this is my loungewear. Like, unreal. Wow. Guys, Macy and I just ate dinner, and now um, I'm actually starting a new series on TikTok called Making Macy Grow Up and Culturing Her to the Early 2000s, because she was actually born in 2000. She's never seen Princess Diaries. She's never seen Twilight. But lots I of things. Say that a lot of 2000s people have seen all these movies. No, it's just because it's just you. It's I a just don't watch movies. It's cr I don't either, but that, that's why this is crazy. But I also wasn't allowed to watch Twilight or Harry Potter. Yeah. So that I never got around to it. Do you, will your parents be mad at me for showing you now? I'm gonna start beef with them. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. So I'm only here this week until tomorrow. Today, um, I well, this morning I'm going to Pilates. Today we have the Okine pop up like this evening, and I have some meetings. But I really want to continue on organizing my closet. Like I didn't organize it yesterday, but I do have like laundry that I need to do, and then I have like fitness stuff that I need to put in drawers, and just like a few random things. Um, I also think I need to pack, or maybe I can pack tomorrow. Um, and then just some last minute pop-up stuff prior to that. We're selling the beige puff bags that are still available right now. There's not that many left of them. So if you guys are watching this vlog and they're available and you want one, get yours now. Last night I realized, I need to read out the list of things that Macy has never seen before. It's crazy. Like I'm educating the youth at this point. It is wild. That's what I should have named my series. Okay, well, whatever. <sighs> Princess Diaries, one. She saw one, she didn't see two. Twilight series as a whole, Cheetah Girls, Sweet Home Alabama, Harry Potter, Wizards of Wizardly Place, Ice Princess, The Devil Wears Prada, and Not So Raven. And I just asked about Cheever by the Dozen, but she hasn't replied yet. So that is so crazy to me. Anyways, I'm like really kind of anxious this week, and I think it's just from like all the travel. Just like not being home and like having to like leave and like, I don't know, I just, I'm like really anxious. So I'm like trying to get back. But I'm so excited. I've been saving all these recipes and stuff for when I'm home, when I'm back to like my home vlogs. Um, and I've been saving all these recipes for food that I'm really excited to make. I became um, a subscriber of Butcher Box or the Butcher Box? Butcher Box. I don't know. Um, they're like not my podcast sponsor, but they po they sponsor a lot of podcasts. That's how I found out about them. But they are like a meat delivery service, but it's like better for you. Somehow the meat is just like made better and then it shows up at your door and I'm trying to eat more protein. So I'm really excited to like have to cook with all of that. I have a cast iron. I'm also going to be getting grill soon. So I'm really excited for that era, you know, and just spending so much time this summer in my kitchen. Like it just, it calms me down and it makes me so happy. I also started reading a new book. Um, I'm totally blanking on the name. We'll talk about this later then because I don't want to mess it up because it is a really good book. So I will talk to you guys after Pilates. Hi guys, I've just been doing some boring work. So my hair, like it's getting, I'm getting it done tomorrow. So I haven't really like messed with it. It does not look good, okay? A little haul I want to show you guys. I'm about to do my makeup. It's already like 2.30. I just like haven't gotten ready because my first call is in 30 minutes. Um, but I have these earrings from Jenny Bird. My hair just looks not good. 
I got these, let me show you them, hold on. I ordered these this week, Marissa sent me them. And I think Jenny Bird might be my new like jewelry because I'm obsessed with Jennifer Fisher. I wear her hoops every single day. These are cheaper. They're not like cheap earrings by any means, but I feel like for what you get, it's a good price. Like for like better jewelry and quotes. From what I've researched, I don't know because obviously these are my first pair. Um, I also got Marissa a pair for her birthday and I hope she doesn't see this. She doesn't watch the vlog, so we're fine. But anyways, I like that they're mixed metals too. And then from Kip Sleepwear, I just want to say these are the softest pair of pajamas. Oh my God. And then look at this. Look at how cute. K.E. Like, oh my God. It's amazing. So I will link these as well. Um, they're just so soft. I cannot wait to wear them tonight. I need to go get ready for this afternoon. Okay guys, we've got some issues. Not issues, actually, I don't wanna do it myself. My back is hurting a little bit, like lower back every time I stand. It started hurting yesterday. And then of course I said, who cares? I'll keep working out and it's hurting worse. So anyways, I'm about to shoot some stuff in my cowboy boots so I can post on Lemon 8. Follow me there, Kenzie Elizabeth and my Instagram and probably TikTok, just my boot collection. I have pulled my hair back because it is so greasy and gross when I'm getting it done tomorrow. So I like don't want to wash it and then like wash it again tomorrow, you know what I mean? Um, and I have to make sure that I feel good. Like my back is feeling good for this weekend because it's so much walking, oh my God. Anyways, this is my outfit. Pants are Amazon, actually they're only $20. I will link them, they're amazing. Top, or my tank top is Skims. It's like one of my favorite tank tops. It's so flattering. It's just the best tank top. I don't know how to describe it. This blazer is Aritzia, and I love it. I think I got it in a size three. Let me make sure. No, okay, size large. Three, I think, is a large in Aritzia. I'm not really sure. But then I just have like my Prada slides on, which I probably won't wear these Prada slides. I'll actually, I might. God, guys, it like really hurts. And I have to pack and be up tomorrow. So I cancel my workout tomorrow and I'm going to like the sauna and I'm gonna do cryo and just like hope it does something for me. Jessica's on her way over, she's gonna send out PR and then she's sending the rest. We have a lot of orders to fulfill. Like guys, don't worry, we have so many orders. We actually do. So we do have a lot of orders to fill. That's what part of what Jessica does for the whole kind. So she's doing that. We have our pop-up tonight. It's gonna be fabulous. So I'm just gonna start taking these pictures of my boots. Look at how fabulous they are. I promise in the upcoming vlog, there's gonna be more than just my closet, but like, oh, guys, I forgot to show you what I did today. Okay, I did this when I was on FaceTime with Dom, and we were gossiping, so I couldn't film. Um, but I just put together some sets. I know I'm still missing. I know that sounds crazy to say I'm missing a lot, but like, these are all sets, and I couldn't find like the matching part piece or whatever. Um, and then I just have like extra down here. My bras and like underwear and socks are in there. There's more down here. Um, and there's like PR down there, whatever. So uh, this is like kind of coming together. That's more like accessories, that's scarves, as you guys saw yesterday. It's definitely coming together though, so that's good. Guys, Jessica is gonna see the closet for the first time. Come on in, she's been out of town this weekend. Oh, you can come in. I told her to knock so I can know. Oh my God. An organizer came, but yeah. I was gonna say, oh my God, it's so um, color coded. Yeah, no, that wasn't me, but. Oh my god! Isn't it crazy? The shelves I look know. So good. It's just mm. so fits out of the way. He can't stand. What, look, he loses his mind in here because he's not the center of attention for once. Oh, well, you just it's poor about, Coco. It's she just got her meds, so she's not really happy right now. <laughs> See, isn't it just so happy in here? It's really like I wish I had a desk because I would just like never leave this room. I need to take my meetings from here. I could I could put a desk in there actually. I would love that. Hello guys, we are in Lower Greenville, which yes, is my old neighborhood. Everyone knew that I lived here because uh, it was so obvious. Um, Lower Greenville is my favorite neighborhood. If you're like living in like in the middle of everything, definitely Lower Greenville. By far superior to every other neighborhood. You're also like literally off your side. Anyways, um, that's where Leela's is and that's where we're having our pop-up. Guys, there's been Second Street, what's that? Is it a new vintage store? There's so many things. I literally moved two weeks ago, and like there's so many things. Um, and there's Millie above, it's really cute. So anyways, I'm waiting for Jessica, because I actually don't know what I'm gonna do. Hmm. I've gotta figure out how I'm gonna like bring all this stuff in. Uh, anyways, so we're doing this pop-up, it's gonna be fun. Um, 
I think it's gonna be a good evening. Like, it's just crazy, I can't vlog these days. I'm like, what do I say to the camera? Like, I just sound stupid. Just kidding, don't say that about yourself, it's bad. This is what I mean, like, what am I, now I'm like, talking to myself, which I guess is vlogging, but still. We're done, I'm pulling a three. Cute. Guys, look at our cutie little bags. The girlies, I don't wanna film everyone, but that's rude. The girlies are around, getting their little drinks. So cute. Good morning, guys, it is Wednesday. Last night was fun. I ended up FaceTiming a friend, Sav, you guys will see this weekend. Oh my god, I'm so puffy. You guys will, you've met Sav before briefly, but you guys will literally just go into control with us. We FaceTimed last night for like three hours, just like fully stalking the One Tree Hill cast. Like I don't know if I mentioned that in this vlog or not, but I've been like back watching One Tree Hill and also my ice machine is like, you know when you like leave town and like your brother comes and stays with you or comes and stays at your house and then you come home and like nothing works? Yeah. Maybe this coincidence. Anyways, we used to up last night like pretty late for me. On FaceTime until like 10.30 and we were just like going through all their Instagrams and like every, it doesn't matter how many times I've seen the show, how long I've known, but the like Chad Michael Murray, Sophia Bush of it all, them being married, the Paris Hilton, the everything. Like I just, I wish Sophia Bush wasn't so classy so we can get a tell all, you know? Stunning. Also, I was saying this, if you guys are One Tree Hill lovers like me, the only person in the world who could meet someone, fall in love, get engaged, get married, and get divorced, and then continue to act for the next like, couple of seasons and be their love entrance on the show. The only person in the world who could do that in a very classy way is Sophia Bush, okay? Like, that woman, she is just special. Okay, let's see. I also um, was reading my book, which I am going to be reading this morning, so I'll give you guys a little book update eventually. Um, but I'm going to the chiropractor this morning just so like my back is fine, because like something's going on there, and I go to Coachella literally tomorrow. Um, so then I'm gonna do my sauna and then cryo and then I have like two hours at home and I am going to um, Do all of my packing or like most of my packing hopefully and then I'm gone from like three to eight I have a hair appointment and a spray tan so Hopefully I can get a lot of packing done because like I'm not gonna want to be up late tonight But honestly most of my clothes that I'm gonna wear this weekend are being delivered to the UGG hotel because my shoes partly are from UGG, and then um, Revolve is dressing me for part of it. So, anyways, they're not dressing me, but they're getting me close. Not like sounded like super, you know what I mean, whatever. I'm gonna do morning pages because it's my third day in a row and I'm trying to keep it up. Oh, Coco is dragging her butt around the living room as she eats her breakfast. So, I gotta go check in on that. I'll talk to you guys soon. My car has just arrived. I'm about to leave for the airport. I was just giving Coco all of her meds. Her dog sitter is gonna come pick her up. I am pretty excited. We're going to Coachella with Ugg today. I know I've already talked about this in the vlog. I just decided to combine and make it one big week in my life vlog, but I'm just like so grateful because this has been my number one brand to work with for the past 10 years. It's easily my lifelong most worn brand. Like Skims is the next one. Like I have worn Uggs pretty much every day of my life at this point because like, I'm always in Ugg slippers. And then you guys know me, I, I don't ever wear anything besides Ugg boots in the fall, winter, so, or Kappa boots, I guess, but mainly Uggs, honestly. Drinking my coffee, about to leave. I'm giving Coco a little snack. Um, she went to the bathroom, we're doing all of her things, but staying with my family, and then Coco's staying with the dog sitter, so she can um, get more attention. She says like specific things that she needs right now, so. Anyways, I'm wearing this Skims set. I decided I would try it for summer travel, because it's like a lightweight, Set, like track suit, sweat set kind of vibe. Um, and then I just have my purse and my headphones and we're gonna go. I didn't even actually pack like that much. Like my suitcase is nowhere near full, which is good because 
I am going to get most of my clothes like that. Are just good because most of my clothes are being sent there. So anyways, I'm gonna chug my coffee. The last I'm gonna have is this cookie butter creamer and then we're all. Just landed in Palm Springs. I made it to the hotel. I think I'm the first one here. I'm here pretty early. Um, Dom is in a car from LA right now. She gets here in a couple hours. They're setting up. I think I might go lay at the pool, but then it's like, am I gonna get sunburn? You know, like we're at four. I wanna be in the pool though, so I think I'm gonna go. Oh, I started the sequel to A Part of Us or whatever by Abby Jimenez. One of her authors, I've actually probably my favorite. I have rated every book she's come out with five stars. It is so good. I'm like 40% of the way in and I think I'm gonna finish it like this afternoon. Anyways, I'm at the hotel. Let's do a tour. Okay, it is so cute. I have an entire like living space to myself. I have all of these snacks, which is like so ideal. Oh my God, barbecue. And then like, look, they have like Ugg cookies. So cute. And then over here, oh, guys, like first off, this is so me. Um, also, I was just thinking, oh my God, I forgot sunscreen. And now don't even worry about it. This stuff is also amazing because you can put it over makeup. At least I do. It's really, really great. Um, oh my God, dry shampoo powder, which is like so ideal, their new shoes. We're here for the uh, like feel house stuff. There's a party tonight. Um, oh, also I think I have a package here. So I gotta go figure that out. But anyways, hey, I'm just gonna unpack, get situated. I'm like, so the girl who has to like hang things up and get organized, I cannot live out of a suitcase it like doesn't work for me anyways update on this so i don't know if i even talked about this earlier um i got the skims like terry cloth sweat set for summer travel because it's obviously a lot lighter this crop top is so crop but i love these so much i'll also link this um anyways i got these sweats because they're lighter and like better for summer for summer travel because i don't like wearing shorts or even short sleeves on a plane like i don't know what it is like, having my body be exposed on a plane is crazy. Like, on Instagram, I'll be an Instagram thought all day. But on a, on a plane, if, like, the air can touch me, I'm like, oh, something about that, you know? So, anyways, um, this gets a 10 out of 10. It's a little chilly at times, kind of, but, like, not bad enough and, like, totally worth it. So, anyways, time to unpack, get situated. I would love a margarita at some point. It's going to be good. I hope they have a dog next to me. We'll see. She's on her way and she said her driver is really hot. So I said, tell him I'm single. Okay, I'm waiting for Dom to get here and I'm watching the Courtney and Travis wedding doc thing. And I just got myself a lunch. So I got a salad, this beautiful drink. It's like tequila something. I don't know, it looks really good. And fries. I'm just gonna sit here with my blanket and watch this. Dom should be here soon. Guys, look who it is. Oh, hello. Dominique. She's back hello. to the vlogs. Guys, I have really scammed my way to the top this time. <laughs> wow. Remember when I like forced you to get Uggs after begging you for like two years? Yeah, and now look. Oh, a little patio. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Oh, and we match in the pink. Mm -hmm. <gasps> so cute. cute. Oh, do you have oh, a key? Wow. You left it in the room already? <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> We're gonna get kicked off this trip. <laughs> you can go to the front desk, but I'll just like trail behind you so they won't know that we're associated. <laughs> I almost said that earlier. <laughs> Guys, that is like literally us. And you're so feel house. <laughs> okay, Dominique, we're gonna try this again. We're getting there. Ready? Room tour. <gasps> it's it's so, so stunning. Easy. It is really so oh. much fun. Oh, I'm good, thank, thank you. you. It's got a margarita. Dude, they have an open bar ah! right now. Already? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Well, this is an open bar dot. Oh no, go ahead, sorry. Perfect. Thank you. Okay guys, we took a little field trip to Dom's room to pick out her outfit for tonight. And now we're back in my room. We got Marg's, this time with Taheen, the best way. Also, they dropped this off later for me because I got here early. Um, this Ugg robe with my name, like how cute. Dom and I are gonna get ready together. Our friend Sav is coming tomorrow. She's here with Dom, so she'll be here tomorrow, but it's just me and Dom and whoever else is on this trip tonight that we, I honestly have, I know like two people that are coming, so I have no idea who else will be here, 
but there's a party tonight. We'll talk about this when we start getting ready, but anyways, just like really living my best life right now. Guys, I told Dawn to look at my earrings because they're new and she said, I saw them and she said they're cute. There are two little gold hoops on each other. Oh, gold? Oh, that's where I caught you in a lie. Look, see? I'll have you know one is silver, one is gold. Thank you. Thank you. Says the girl who literally can't fucking see. Like, I just like, <laughs> don't want to hear it from you when you like literally like don't like, you can't uh, even see. Guys, I was wearing a really cute set that I got from a ball, but I need to return the pants and exchange them for a smaller size. So I'll link on Instagram, but like size down. So I threw on a white skirt that I just brought as like an extra thing. And then I have my pink Sailor Hot bag over there. And then my favorite pink skim on my kitten heels. Don't and I are matching with our pink. We are. Do you guys want to see my outfit? Yeah, they do. Um, this dress is Gabrielle. Okay, Gabrielle Kafka. I always say her name wrong, I'm really sorry. But this is actually her line with Target and everything's so good. I'm actually wearing two of her pieces um, to Coachella. And the shoes, they're these really cool platform shoes um, from Uggs that I found on their website. And then I'm gonna be wearing this really cute pink Sherpa bag, which I feel like is so Kenzie. Yeah, it is. But tonight it's so me. I know. So anyways, there is a party at our hotel it's happening right now if you can hear it yeah it did already start um but we're about to head over That's soon really it's like so nerve-wracking we God. are kind of nervous it feels like the first day of school yeah like, i don't i'm not that nervous i'm more so just like tired but i feel like what i read my book and like yeah. chill because i'm more so like anxious here's what it is like i'm anxious when there's like, a really big weekend and there's a huge social yeah commitment. yeah i'm anxious about the four nights in a row Same. aspect of it of the social aspect. Yeah. Because like in Texas I could do it and it's like whatever. No. no and no. these things are like intimidating. No. That's what I was gonna say. It feels like the first day of school in the sense of like you don't yeah. know who's here, you're gonna like meet a ton of people, you have to like put yourself out there and like luckily Kenzie's here, but like it yeah. just it's like a little scary. We're scared. But it's gonna be fun. We're very happy to be here. We're very excited, excited, excited. My like lipstick needs to be darker a bit. Anyways. Whew, guys, okay, we've been like stalking everyone because you can like see mm -hmm. on my window. Everyone. That's really good. Like, I'm like just trying to see. I'm like just trying to see what the dress code is, you know? Hi. Okay, so these are our outfits for. Oh, wait, we already said that. Yeah. This is what I mean by I, guys, I cannot remember what I vlogged or what I TikToked. Guys, we're gonna we're gonna be okay tonight. Your best friends are gonna make it. This has been me like nonstop with vlogs. But it's like hard to keep up. Cheers, cheers. Just, like, you know, yeah. like, I'm that friend in real life that like tells you the same story 15 times anyway. So like having a vlog channel makes it difficult. Um, I need like a brighter pink lip gloss. Like this is like too neutral. I feel like it's washing me out, but. Mine's clear. I feel like a little too blonde yesterday. Like I should have said I wanted like more like roots, but it's fine. It grows out, so whatever. But anyways, off we go. This is literally, I think, the second time I'm using this bag since I bought it. It's in so good. January, December. But I'm, the plan was a spring and summer bag anyway. So. I've wanted it for so long. It's really the perfect bag. Wow, I've wanted this bag for so long. Really? I'll treat no, I'm kidding. But imagine. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, girl, let's trade. <laughs> no, I, I went through hell for this bag. Getting custom Uggs. That's so exciting. What did you, well, we picked the same cherry. I put mine on the outside. I put mine on the inside. Oh, cute. And then what, what worked? Just Kenzie, I panicked. Oh, I mine's a more thoughty. Thought, more thoughty? A more thoughty? It means love fate. Where did that even come from? How did, I put my name. It's, <laughs> a, it's a philosophy saying. Really? Okay, I'm, I'm sure. Now we're gonna get aura readings where they're gonna tell me that mine's horrible and then Dom is like yeah. amazing. They up, period ass. There you go. Like they're like, oh, we're about to like go read auras, and I'm like, bam, bam, bam. No, like Dom's like, okay, bye. And it's literally like peaceful, serene. Oh yeah, shit. And now I have a flash. Okay, bye. What did I tell you? Okay, like the colors have meaning, but like. <laughs> so crazy. That means you need help. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm kidding. 
Mine was, okay, green is healing or like making your goals come true right now. Yeah, same. So and then, where's your green? My green's like up right here, no, and like on the side. Yeah. And just like healing energy, the yellow's manifestation. So I have a lot of like luck on my side, good time to like manifest, make things happen. Red is just like grounding my thoughts more. Oh yeah, you you've gotta really ground those thoughts, look at that. And then like the blue for like wisdom, throat chakra, speaking yeah. my emotions, saying how I feel. Yes. It's just crazy, because what did I tell you guys? <laughs> you know, you well. Well. We got custom, this is Kinsey, and then we got the cherry. Oh my god, uh, so cute! Good morning. You don't even look like you're wearing pajamas. Oh, you want to take the hoodie off? No, it's fine. Guys, Dom and I decided to wear pajamas to breakfast. It's okay if it's cold, just wear it. No, it's fine. Oh. Look at my cute PJs from Kip Sleepwear. And they even have my initials on them. These are my pajamas. From Skims. I'm wearing my new Uggs. I forgot how, honestly, I forgot how much more comfortable they are when they go up on your leg. Yeah. Like, wow. Oh yeah, that was uh, our, our food yesterday. Okay, well we gotta go. Okay hey guys, I'm ready for day one of Coachella. I'm wearing this top from Revolve and this skirt. It's from Abercrombie. Guys, they don't sell it anymore, but it is like recently my most worn item. I wish they still had it on the site because I would tell everyone they need this skirt. So if you guys ever see this back on Abercrombie, let me know. My sneakers are UGG and they're so, first off, like really cute, but also like really comfortable, like perfect for like pretty much everything, but especially festival. Um, my jacket's Princess Polly. I'm gonna link everything below and then I have this bag from Sony Clover Which is like the worst bag to bring to a festival because look. Oh also Just wait until you see My sunglasses, okay They really complete the look. Dom and I just took pictures for UGG And um, we're gonna go to the festival. Dom and Sal are gonna go to the festival earlier because they have people that they want to see. I don't have people that I want to see early today So I'm gonna go to TK's. She's staying with like Alicia and Remy and everyone um, and catch up with the girlies and then we're gonna go tonight. Tonight is Bad Bunny. I'm in like a much, I feel like I've been in like a funk all week and I'm like in a much better mood. Got my hair done and I swear to God, like actually styled, I swear to God I think that's why I'm in a better mood. So anyways, off we go. Hey guys, it's Kenzie's vlog and hey <laughs> everyone's gonna tell you what they're wearing. Hi guys, so I'm wearing um, Free People, Ghani, and Big Bud Press. Hey y'all, um, I already told them what I was wearing, but emphasis on the UGG. Uh, Alright y'all, the shuttle is about to arrive. Let's go. We're heading out. Guys, look at this bus. This is incredible. Hey girlies, we're in like a whole bus and there's outlets. We made it. Me and the girlies. I really feel like a Barbie with these sunglasses on. Like something about this and pink lipstick and like palm trees in the background. <laughs> Guys, look who! Look at my found! Oh, you need to teach me how to take a photo with the... Oh, I'm I, I brought mine. Oh, I, I will show you okay, right now. Right. Good morning, y'all. It is day two. I'm going to grab breakfast. I woke up really early for no reason. It is so peaceful here. Like, oh my god. I somehow woke up at like seven. I have no idea. Anyways, I just got breakfast. 
green juice. I'm gonna make my iced coffee in the fridge. I obviously ordered my favorite creamer. This coffee and creamer. Oh my God, this keeps moving out. I already opened this this morning. It has become, okay, it's cold. Um, Literally my personality trait, I got a couple just in case, you know, my friends here wanted some. Last night was really fun or yesterday was really fun in general. We obviously got to see Maddie and then today um, we have like massages here. You can get hair and makeup done. I'll probably get my hair touched up. Um, and then Maddie's gonna come here and we, cause she's um, also staying in Palm Springs. You guys didn't know, like Coachella Valley. So Coachella and Stagecoach are at the exact same place. And they're actually in Indio, which is 40 minutes from Palm Springs. But a lot of people, like, we're staying in Palm Springs right now. Um, actually, I haven't stayed at Palm Springs for the festivals before. Both times, no, no. The, guys, don't tell them, never forget. That was Palm Springs. Um, but last time for Stagecoach, we stayed in Indio. Indio is just a lot closer, um, but Palm Springs, like, obviously, is Palm Springs. And this hotel is so cute. We're staying at the Villa Royale. And I just feel like it's so lucky. Like, they have been so awesome. It's literally my favorite brand. And they have gone like above and beyond, like the best time ever. And they're just so nice. Like everyone here is so nice. So anyways, this looks not good, but like you gotta just trust me. I'm gonna watch some podcasts on the TV and just chill until Dom and Sav wake up. Um, anyways, today Matt is gonna come over. At some point, we're probably gonna have lunch here. And then I think we will go to Revolve Fest and then the festival, it's gonna be a long day. And it was freezing last night. And yeah, so like, it's always so cold. I'll probably end up getting a hoodie at some point today because my jean jacket, it's not gonna cut it. But I'm excited to go to Revolve Fest because I'm excited to see like a bunch of my friends that are either just like living in LA or in town for Revolve Fest. I've actually never gone to Revolve Fest. So, guess we'll see what it's like today. I feel like it's, I heard it's gonna be a lot more chill than like the recent controversies. Um, there's a lot like less people and like I, I've heard that the problems shouldn't happen So hopefully we'll see but anyways, I made my coffee but It's gonna be horrible without ice. I don't know what I was thinking Um, and I did my skincare and we're gonna watch some podcasts on YouTube What podcasts do you guys watch on YouTube because I watch like Theo Vaughn obviously So many like I'm really I really have switched on the podcast that I've been like listening to and watching um, but comment below. Obviously, you can always watch mine. Um, but pretty soon it will be shot in my home and so comfy and cozy and like chill with like basically just me and like my friends and family. Um, but yeah, anyways, gotta eat. Goodbye. Guys, I did something so bad. I turned Dom into a reader. So we're about to go get IVs and she's not even gonna talk to me. She's gonna read her book. What happened to your Kindle? That is so weird. Anyways, off to get IVs to prep for the weekend. IVs are really my secret weapon. Dom also gave me her rare beauty like lip oils, the colors that like she doesn't like on her. And I'm really just thriving. That's also like a very convenient thing that we always do yeah. opposite lip colors so we can always like share, like trade or give or whatever. But anyways, IV time. You're doing Wait, great. Wait, did she put it in yet? Not yet. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dom, I thought it was already in. <laughs> There's just like literally no way. Guys, Sav has arrived, by the way. <laughs> Me too. You got this. Oh, wow. Yes, awesome. Woo Everything's fun. Life's so fun. Life's so fun. Oh my god. Woo, we're in Palm Springs. We're going to Coachella and stay Make sure you're not Everything moving. Everything is so amazing. We're literally here with Uggs. I love Uggs <laughs> so much. This is so awesome. Uh, and it's so girl. beautiful outside. Yeah, yeah. Everything's so good. And it's awesome. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile. Chillin'. Yeah. Chillin'. No, literally. I'm a regular at the IVs. The vlog knows. You guys are in I Dallas? So bad. I'm not kidding. I would drink like three bottles of water and I have cotton mouth. So, like, I, I, I'm like, That's mm, so wild yeah. to me. I just get so sick. It's not really a hydration problem for me. But this helps so much. And then it helps with drinking. That's like a main concern. Really? Is. Yeah. It helps a lot. Look, like, so, if you have like a wild weekend and you get one on a Friday, just like to be like, you know, pre, pre, um, that's what I'm looking for. Guys, we got some breakfast, green juice, coffee. This is our view. 
it's so pretty and also it's normally like so hot here during Coachella and it's actually felt really nice for once. Mom and I just found this field. This is where they did, oh wow. This is where they did sound baths the other day and we missed it, which I really wanted to do. It's so beautiful at this hotel, the Villa Royale. I would really recommend it in Palm Springs, but taking our UGG content, Maddie's coming over. We're really excited. We are splitting up for our activities today, but we will reunite tonight. We are reuniting. We're starting our, I mean, starting my group chats. Yes, yes. Guys, got dressed and we're in this Revolve dress and boots. We made it to Revolve Fest. Just getting some drinks, but we already got 818. Um, Maddie and Steph are getting food. I saw some friends and they were waiting for everyone else to get here. Stand up. Guys, we're getting tequila shots. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hi, Ken's. What a Hi, good Ken's vlog. What a good um, Coachella surprise. I know. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not with you. Oh, my alarm system's going. All right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Wow, love that. All right, round two. Festival, Dominique, how's it going? Yeah, we're good. My dogs aren't working anymore. I'm feeling if good. any of you guys are here for the Firefly Festival vlog, you know. You guys would know. Please go back and watch that vlog, and actually. Type in Kenzie Elizabeth Firefly Festival. And when I give my Billie Eilish recap. Oh yeah, God. yeah, that was really something. Those were low moments, but well, honestly, I'm doing pretty good hey. right now. Morale is high. We're having a good time at the festival. Oh, wait, let me show you Kenzie's outfit. You can't really see it. They've already seen it. Oh, damn it. You can't. Let's go to the bar. 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 Vlogs are going to the bars. Sorry, this is crooked, guys. It is like almost 4 p.m. on Sunday. This is not the best. It's almost 4 p.m. on the Sunday. Today, uh, today drained me. Actually, yesterday drained me. So I went to the festival, saw a bunch of people, and then home. I'm not like going to any after parties or anything. I just like don't have the energy. Um, and then this morning, I shot a video for UGG, and I also finished the new Abby Eminez. I always forget her last name. I like need to get it back. She's literally is probably my favorite author. Every book of hers that I've ever read, I've loved. Um, her new book came out that I was talking about earlier this week and I finished it this morning and I'm like in first off I'm already like exhausted. It's day three of Coachella, but like I'm in like such a like sad like book hangover mood I actually really did love the book. I thought it was just like good. there were definitely parts where they are cringy The way that I judge a book isn't necessarily by like how well written it is or Like whatever. It's just like how connected I feel I think to the characters and like how, I don't know, like how invested I am. Um, and I loved it, I will say. Out of all of them, it was probably like my least fave, but like I still loved it. And I did see some people post it, or one person posted they didn't like it. Personally, I loved. So anyways, tonight is Frank Ocean. Day three is always like the most chill as far as outfits and stuff. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. My hotel room is so messy and like, I am not that girl. Like I am normally so organized and like, I thought I was gonna pack today and I did it and it's just like, this is not me. This is not a gravitation of me, but it is what it is. I'm waiting on my room service to get here. The bus leaves in 15 minutes and I feel like it's not gonna come. So I might have to go without food until I get to the festival, but I've already eaten today, like lunch, whatever. <sighs> my set is Zara. I wore it to Cabo like last year, and then I have just like my same Casey black boots, my normal body bag, same denim jacket. I highly regret not bringing a leather jacket to the festival because it would have looked so much cuter, but I'm kind of like getting back in my denim jacket era. Anyways, I love this set and I just like, haven't worn it enough and I felt like it was like kind of perfect for Coachella. So 
that is it. I'll take you guys along on the smaller camera. Um, and yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. I like need to get back together. Dom has Red Bull though, so that's what I'm gonna have. How are you feeling, Dom? I feel better now. I took a fat nap. Me too. And then I need like seven more naps to recover from my book hanger over. I'm so sad. Oh damn. Can you give us any sneak peeks about the book or no? It'll no. give it away. I don't know how to give a sum <laughs> summary or something without telling you exactly what happened. Okay. Um, <coughs> yeah. Checking on this rib. I'm seeing Alex G, Callie if I make it. Uh, who else am I seeing? <coughs> Dominic Fike. And then after that, I'm honestly just probably going to chill out the main stage. Because after that's Jork and Frank, and I'm like, I rise in 24 carats. You and when you are not man, you're a girl from the woman who loves you. Hello to a friend. <laughs> yeah. The girl, the song's not even on the internet, so you know that it's I'll real. Stop <laughs> I know the difference between what you say and how you feel. Uh, oh, I know when it's real. So we'll see you guys at the festival. Bye, girlies. Oh, I was, okay. Bye, girlies. Bye, well, guys. did you want? Did you have other things you wanted to say? Well, maybe. But I don't know. How are you guys doing? I just want to check in on everyone right now. Mm-hmm. Gunzi's eating her food, it looks pretty good. Leave us your highs and lows of the week in the comments. Oh yes, please, I'd love to know. I am, one thing about me, is I am an avid Kenzie Elizabeth comment reader. I will clap back, but I will also share love. And mostly I'm sharing love. Because I thought Dom was gonna fight someone last night, I was actually kind of concerned. I really was. It's not a good look on a, on a brand trip. I was so scared. She really was going to. Oh, I on was. the bus. Me yeah. too. We, we got it sorted the, today. We got it sorted. Oh, you did? Today. Yeah. Okay, wait, I have to go. I have to get the gossip. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> the girlies are ready. Oh my god, oh, really? so stunning. Look, you look so cute. Thank you. Guys, look who I'm with. Hello. We were just sitting, catching up, gossiping. Uh, um, and no, now, literally. No, <laughs> exactly. Um, I don't even know what our plan is today. I think Besides we're just Frank, sitting obviously. and vibing currently. We're just sitting and vibing. Hopefully we'll get like another photo. We yeah. need to get some back up. You're gonna have someone take our photo and she was taking interesting angles. It was very interesting. We'll answer them right here. I, I appreciate. No, I, I did appreciate. appreciate. We had to like take advantage of the moment. Yeah, it wasn't like our style maybe, but like I appreciate But that like part. artsy. Yeah, artsy. Like she definitely had a vision, you know? So And anyways, it was really sweet of her to take them. Guys, TK's romper. I bought it on the way. She posted an Instagram photo, and I literally bought it on the bus right here. So we can be twinning. We should do a photo shoot together. We'll be twinning. Love you. All right, guys. It is almost Frank time. Dominique is very excited, as you can tell. Do you, do you have like words to say in the vlog? Or? Yeah. So. That's <laughs> okay. Maybe not the eyes. Just kidding. Vlog, I just want to let you know. <laughs> Under the influence of a very, very friendly mushroom, I need to tell you guys something. You guys are beautiful people for following Kenzie. Like, isn't Kenzie just a gem? She's like at the angel. So true. Like, so she true. really came out of the sky. And she really is my best friend, like, actually fucking for real. Like, I'm not even playing. Like, I know we'd be in the vlogs, like, having fun and like talking or like being silly no like i when i tell you i would literally pull out a okay. weapon i, I want this like to be someone. monetized so oh uh, sorry i would just mm -hmm. you know what i would yeah, do yeah she would yep. 
I I would do that for Kenzie because she is really like my best friend. Like dead ass, if I were to get pregnant, which won't happen, I probably won't have kids. But if I were to have kids, I would move to Texas because I need Kenzie nearby. She would need me to raise a child. As no, well. I would just need your help. I like want a baby now. Well, but not a boyfriend, so that's a tough part. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Dude, if you became, you had like a certain, uh, well, a, a sperm donor, like that would honestly be slain. I mean, like, <laughs> who's the next OG YouTuber to get pregnant? You know what I mean? I follow in Lauren's footsteps. No, actually, Lauren. Lauren Elizabeth, Kinsey Elizabeth. No, actually, that's what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, thank you for your kind words, Dominique, under the influence. We're and waiting. I them, and I mean them when I'm not under the influence, too, because that, I think, is just as important. Mm -hmm. You have to mean, but uh, when you're under the influence, those are the true, like, that's... I completely disagree. I, Things I say yeah, under the influence, I, I don't you, mean. I'm like, cat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, Bye. Oh, oh, oh. Vlog or take it off? I've been matching with people that like are literally like not that at all, like an actor or like someone in a creative space. And I've just been realizing that like, I've been enjoying it so much more because I want to ultimately be with someone who loves their job as much as I love my job. Like, I think that that to me is actually my non-negotiable, right? Yeah. And I think that typically sense. is the finance bro. Like I'm not making a generalization, but I kind of am that like they might not be as like fulfilled. Maybe like they make a lot of money, but I want to be with someone who like maybe isn't like, I don't know, I, who just genuinely loves what they do because you spend the majority of your life working.